Road to GH will reveal intriguing details during the week of October 21st to 25th, 2014. First, Finn returns from rehab, longing to reunite with his young daughter Violet after a long separation. Violet is overjoyed to see her father, and the entire family is filled with happiness. Chase and Brooke Lynn, who had cared for Violet during Finn's absence, also feel relieved seeing the father and daughter reunited. However, Brooke Lynn harbors a deep sadness. During Finn's time away, she had grown very attached to Violet, treating her as if she were her own child. Saying goodbye to Violet leaves Brooke Lynn Finn feeling a sense of loss and heartbreak, despite her happiness for Finn and Violet. Finn expresses deep gratitude to Chase and Brooklyn for taking good care of Violet while he couldn't be there for her. But tragedy strikes when Finn and Sam are involved in a car accident shortly after reuniting with Violet, leaving the family in deep concern and Finn's future uncertain. Secondly, Stephen Weber is set to make a shocking return to Port Charles, PC, marking the first time he has reunited with his mother, Heather Weber, after a long separation. Heather, a woman notorious for her criminal past and scheming behavior, has just been released from prison after many years behind bars. Stephen's return to PC is not just a homecoming, but a crucial moment as he faces the complicated past with his mother. The relationship between Stephen and Heather has always been tense, as Heather's actions have profoundly affected Stephen's life and those around him. Yet, maternal bonds are not easily broken, and Stephen's decision to return may be an effort to seek reconciliation, or at least answers for the emotional wounds from the past. The reunion between mother and son is more than a physical one. It is laden with emotions, conflict, and unresolved issues in their relationship. Though Heather is out of prison, she remains a dangerous figure with unpredictable motives. Will Stephen be able to forgive his mother and accept her troubled past? Or will his return stir up new turmoil, complicating matters in Port Charles even further? Third, Willow, feeling anxious and acutely aware of the potential consequences, has repeatedly warned Drew that they should maintain a distance. She believes their relationship shouldn't go too far, as it could cause significant personal and social complications for both of them. Willow thinks keeping a safe distance is the best way to avoid unnecessary conflicts. However, Drew seems unfazed by her warnings. Drawn to Willow, he disregards her advice and continues to get closer, despite the risks she mentioned. Their relationship gradually crosses the line from friendship, and eventually they succumb to their feelings. They end up in bed together, leaving behind all the warnings and boundaries they had set. Unbeknownst to them, everything that transpired has been observed. Elaine, Ned's private investigator, was assigned to monitor Drew. She has quietly watched their every move, capturing the sensitive moments between Drew and Willow. Elaine's photos are not just evidence of their secret relationship, but could have serious repercussions if exposed. The revelation could destroy Drew and Willow's reputations, shake the relationships around them, and bring chaos to their lives. This event is sure to create major disruptions, forcing both Drew and Willow to face unexpected stress and challenges. Fouth, Ned seizes the opportunity after receiving the incriminating photos of Drew and Willow's affair from the detective Elaine. Armed with the evidence, Ned decides to use the images to blackmail Drew, demanding that he relinquish part of his shares in ELQ, the corporation both are involved with and fighting to control. Ned understands the weight of this evidence and knows Drew wouldn't want his secret relationship with Willow exposed, which could bring severe personal and social consequences. Drew, realizing Ned's intention, is furious. He feels betrayed and trapped, knowing Ned is using his sensitive situation to gain leverage in their power struggle over ELQ. However, instead of caving to the threat, Drew decides to delay and even attempt to block the transaction. He begins plotting a way to counter Ned, working to turn the situation around and protect both his stake in ELQ and himself. The power struggle between the two men escalates, filled with schemes and complex maneuvers, Drew is doing everything he can to retain control of ELQ without compromising to Ned, while Ned continues applying pressure, hoping to achieve his goal. This conflict is not just about money and power, but also a confrontation of loyalty, ethics, and honor, making the situation more unpredictable than ever. 
Finally, Sam is preparing for a risky liver transplant surgery to save Lulu, a dear friend. Before entering the operating room, Sam is filled with anxiety, not only because of the surgery, but also due to the ongoing conflicts between her sisters, Christina and Molly. Feeling that this may be her last chance to express her deep concerns, Sam decides to share her heartfelt wishes. She tells Christina and Molly that her greatest hope is for them to truly reconcile, setting aside the misunderstandings and conflicts of the past. For Sam, family is the most important thing, and she doesn't want to see her sisters continue to be at odds. Sam's words carry the weight of a final plea, as she knows the surgery ahead could bring unforeseen risks. In the moments before the operation, Sam hopes Christina and Molly will heed her wishes and work toward healing their relationship, no matter what happens to her after the surgery. This is not just a simple request, but Sam's deepest wish, hoping that whatever the outcome, the family will remain united and strong. Thank you.